My background was in furniture and cabinets, and we moved into uh, sawing lumber as a hobby. And it started out in a very small way, and it has grown into a lot more. Uh, Westgate is a custom cabinet millwork shop covering all the bases of front door to the back door and everything in between a custom home. The urban wood that we are able to work with is exceptional as urban wood goes. The dark walnut and the silver maple and, and the red gum eucalyptus are all phenomenally colored and have beautiful grain. And so it's hard not to fall in love with them. So when my dad and Phil, our, our mill foreman, started sawing the wood about 10 years ago, it was, it was really easy to appreciate and to develop a passion for this material and it's just blossomed from there. We do sell quite a bit of wood locally in California all the way to Southern California, uh, quite a bit in the Bay Area. We have customers in Colorado and now we're on the internet and we're selling who knows where, wherever they call from, we package and ship. Before we owned a wood miser, we cut on chainsaw mills very labor intensive, a lot of hard work, uh, low yield, and variation in the cut. Uh, we feel like we graduated from elementary school when we got rid of the sawmills that were chain driven. We use Woodmiser's LT70 and LT70 wide and the 1000. We knew the uh, business needed a pretty robust machine and there was no sense in starting with a lighter weight machine, plus the volume of wood we wanted to cut, we needed the heavier uh, wood misers. So that's why we picked them. Well, the 1000, the value of it is, of course, the kerf. Uh, you save a lot of wood. It's also very fast. It's accurate. And the ability to cut through a log without moving each piece as you go really speeds up production. Woodmiser product is a good solid product, uh, very minimal maintenance on them, and the service when we need parts, it's a phone call away. We were recently subcontracted to provide flooring for a famous coffee chain. We were in a prime position to do this because we had a large inventory of local English walnut lumber that we had cut and we had dried and it was ready to go. And this went into this coffee chain all across the continental United States. A friend of mine took a picture while visiting the White House and told me the coffee shop was directly across the street. So we were pretty proud of the fact that the president and his cabinet occasionally visit and walk on our floor. Probably my favorite product, again, takes us right back to the urban idea study a piece of wood, have it laying around for a while, look at it, ruminate on it, think about it. Finally one day, bang, it hits. I know what I'm gonna do with that. And take that raw piece of wood that once was in a fort or in a orchard or along the road that I drove by, and now I get to look at it as a finished product. And even better, sell it to a customer who loves the story as to how that came about. We call it giving new birth to an old piece of wood. 